Right. I will be talking about how network threats are evolved and raise the awareness about the constant activities in the cyber security landscape today. As a cyber security professional, you should be able to differentiate between external and internal threats. Now, what exactly is an external threat? But before I delve into the definition of what an external threat is, looking at the diagram shown on the left-hand side of the screen presentation is an example of a threat actor that target the network through the internet, as you can see there, forming from an external threat, passing through the firewall, and having a compromised effect on a PC on a device. Similarly, you see the internal threat coming within an organization or also having a compromised effect on a device within the network. This disrupts your operation and at the same time can create a denial of service attack. So by doing that, this attack can come externally. That is to say this external threat originate from outside an organization network and typically carried out a malicious actors carried out by a malicious actors or a group who do not have authorized access to the organization example of this external threat can be malware ransomware phishing social engineering hacking and distributed denial of service attack all these external threats and many other more aim to exploit vulnerability in a system or a network to gain unauthorized access by stealing sensitive data disrupting the operation or cause financial losses to organization or a business. The next one is known as the internal threat. What exactly is an internal threat? And this comes from within an organization, often involving an individual or a group with authorized access, such as employees, contractors for the organization, or business partners. Example of the likely internet threat could be malicious insider, people working within the organization like an employee, or negligent behavior within an organization, poor password management by staffs within organization, and also abuse of privilege, administrative right, or what you as an individual or as a contractor or as an employer, as an employee, uh, have access to. And these internal threat attackers have legitimate access to the system, the data, or the infrastructure network where they intentionally misuse their access to harm the organization, such as personal gain, a revenge, or accidentally create a security risk due to carelessness or human error. So you, as a cybersecurity professional, must understand what is the difference between external threat and the internal threat and how you can minimize the risk for an organization. So as a cybersecurity professional, one of the tools used to detect threat in real time is known as Kipersky Cyber Threat Real Time, which is what I'm showing to you on this presentation. And it is, it is more of a visual online tool that display animated representation of cyber attack happening around the globe. In a few minutes now, I will demonstrate this type of what I'm talking about in terms of the threat and the sources to this kind of attack that is populated. But before I delve into that, I would like to explain the acronym that you are seeing below this uh, presentation screen here using the Kipersky Cyber Threat Live Map. First of all, the one that stands for OAS is known as 
on access scan, which is a detection made when files are accessed. The second one, which is the ODS, known as on-demand scan, is a detection from users initiated scan. The MAV, which is mail antivirus, is a threat detected in emails. WAV, which stands for web antivirus, is a threat blocked from malicious website. The IDS stands for intrusion detection system, is a detection of suspicious network activities. The VUL, which is a vulnerability scan, is a identification of system vulnerability. KAS, Kipersky anti-spam, which is a spam detection. BAD, which is bonnet activity detection, identifies system participation in a bonnet. And the last one, which is RMW, which is a ransomware detection of ransomware attack. The acronym, which I've just explained to you here, these are ways of identifying the kind of threat affecting an organization, both as an, inter both an organization where it can come from, both from internally and externally. And this Kepesky uh, uh, tool is basically helping us as a cyber security uh, professional to understand, to understand the increase of awareness of how we can share volume and understand the global nature of the threat identify the trend in terms of the analyzing where these attackers are coming from and how we need to be actively engaging and also understanding the different threat types in terms of categorizing them and also differentiating between the malware, phishing, bonnet, and exterior. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you now uh, in a few minutes, uh, what I meant by using the Kispersky. So I'm just going to come up now. Let me. So this is an example of a Kispersky Cyber Threat Live Map. Now, presently, if you want to determine, depending on which country you have, we have the Afghanistan, Algeria, Cameroon, the Dominic Republic, Egypt, France. So let me just use an example. Let me use United Kingdom as an example. So being in United Kingdom here, we have the 24 most attack country in the world. If I go to Germany now, so Germany is the eighth most affected attack in the world presently now. If I go to Nigeria at the moment now, Nigeria, bear with me. Nigeria is the 60 most attacked country in the world. And as you can see here, when I just pause that now, this will zoom directly straight to Nigeria to let me see in terms of the number of threats that is going on presently within Nigeria, as you can see now. So say I just give you some few seconds. And as you can see, in terms of the acronym that I've just explained to you, you're beginning to see some changes and this is this, as you can see now, we have no ransomware at the moment. Uh, but can you see this one now? Which stands for bullet activity detention. There's zero down there. Vulnerability scan, there's nine down there. The on access scan, there's about 5,000 plus down there. Uh, in terms of on demand scan, there's about 6,000 plus. Uh, for the ma uh, mail antivirus, there's about 274 plus. And if you go into details now, it will tell you what the kind of threat attack that has happened within the last week and looking at the trend, how the trend was higher on a particular day, which is on the 11th of July. On the 12th and 13th, it was a bit lower. On the 14th of July, as you can see, the attack, the threat was higher. 15, it was a little bit minimal, but not as compared to the 12th and the 13th. And you can see the trend and the type of Trojan and the viruses that is within this is within the last week affecting Nigeria. Also, you can see the statistics of the most attack within the country in the as of today, as, as of this moment, as I'm talking to you now. So I've just done that. If you scroll down here, you could see Russian and China is the first, see China, second Brazil tall, and as you could see there. So these are the levels of most affected country presently now. So the bottom point today is understanding what is the difference between external and internal threat and understanding the kind of tools that can be used to dictate those kind of attack. Thank you.